Hi guys, today we are in Verona to meet one of the players with most appearances in Serie A team that is still active. Welcome to Dario Dainelli. Dario, let's start by looking back over your top flight career uh, from Lecce in 2000 to Chievo in 2017. Can you tell us your highs and lows? Sicuramente il primo anno a Lecce perché Well, I like to talk about the highs. My first year at Lecce because I made my Serie A debut. My first game as a starter. That was at the Olimpico against Roma. We won the Scudetto. Poi ci sono stati Verona però nella sponda Hellas. Poi Brescia. After that, there was Hellas Verona and Brescia, where I was fortunate enough to play with Roberto Baggio, Pep Guardiola and Luca Toni. He was young, but already a great player. Then I arrived in Florence, where I had the best moments of my career. Also, I think I played my best football in Florence. Then I was at Genoa, and now here back in Verona with Chievo. Have you already decided when you will hang up your boots? And what will you do after? Vorrei giocare l'anno prossimo sicuramente e poi I certainly want to play next year. Then we'll see how enthusiastic I feel. And if I have the right motivation. Per cosa far da grande? What I'll do in the long term, I don't know. Il fascino dell'allenatore c'è. The role of head coach appeals to me. Perché comunque la cosa è l'aspetto Because it's the closest you can get to the pitch and still playing. 20 years a pro. Who better than you can describe Serie A? What makes Serie A unique? It's a championship which has been and always will be fascinating because it creates passion all across Italy. There's certainly a lot of territorial pride, so there are great rivalries between cities. As well as that, the results are always unpredictable. Even Kievo can give the big teams a good match and there are surprises every year. That is what makes it so fascinating. It's a wonderful league. Through the years, you must have seen it all. Can you tell us or one or two curious incidents from your career? I'd like to talk about Carlo Mazzoni who recently celebrated his 80th birthday. So I can use it to send my best wishes to him. He came out with some pearls of wisdom. He was always funny. I remember once at training, a puppy ran onto the pitch and he became very angry. A week later, another dog, it was very similar, that came onto the pitch, but he thought it was the same one. He was annoyed again, but we told him it was Roberto Baggio's dog and he said, oh, OK, give him a ball and he can play. Robbie was untouchable to Manzoni, <laughs> while he gave some of the younger players a really hard time. <laughs> Let's talk about this season. How do you rate Kievo's campaign? Per adesso do solo 6 perché, perché manca ancora tanto e perché... Eh, I would like to give us a 6 because there's still a long way to go comunque, and I think that's a fair score out of 10 comunque, um, because we've almost maintained our Serie A status. Della, it's not mathematically guaranteed but we're very close. Finale per, per quanto riguarda il piazzamento Champions. E, I think the race to earn a Champions League place will be exciting Europa, and also the Europa League. E, e, sul, sul fatto della, della coda della classifica è abbastanza spots look quite stable anche se Although my home city Empoli are making their lives a bit complicated but I hope they stay up complicandosi la vita eh, però, però penso che, che finisca così thanks Dario for being with us and good luck for the rest of the season and for the next one <laughs> thanks very much